Hey guys, what's up? Oh wait, dude. I found out what it takes to be a man. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Mom and dad will never understand. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, that was totally coincidental that that song came on. Um, it has nothing to do with transness, but I always thought that was funny. Anyways, um, so hi, what's going on? Yeah, um, this week's topic is passing. Yeah, um, personal experiences with passing lately, like, lately is in maybe the past few months, maybe shorter, I don't know. Sometimes my, my idea of time passing is fucked up, but, um, lately, I have not been passing worth a shit. Like, nobody, just everyone that I come across is like, she, ma'am, can I get this door for you, ma'am? And I'll get, like, holding the door. But, like, I guess, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Because, like, I don't know, I'll get called she, but I'll still get the bro fist and, like, the nod and stuff. <laughs> Which is weird, so I think people just assume that I'm, like, a really butch lesbian or something. <laughs> Which is... It's not bad. I mean, I'm I'm not a lesbian, but... I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, I have not been able to pass. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because... I mean, maybe my face is maturing and I'm looking more womanly as opposed to little boyish anymore. But, uh... I don't know. I think I still look pretty masculine or whatever. Holy shit. So, I totally forgot to add this, and it's gonna sound really weird, because I think I'm gonna put it in the middle of the video or somewhere like that. But anyways, one thing that really does not help me pass is this, and especially these. Like, I don't know why, maybe it's because the rings are really big, or what, but like, I've been told that they make me look really feminine, and so you might want to take that into consideration. I personally think, you know, fuck it, get whatever you want pierced, and just be like, yes, because a huge passion of mine is body modification of any kind, you know. And I find it really interesting, and, you know, I've wanted these for a really long time, so, like, I mean, I was just like, you know what, so what if it makes me look feminine? I'm just gonna get them anyway, and I think that you should keep that mentality, but just beware. Beware. So, um, but, like, I guess as far as, uh, mannerisms go and the way you act and stuff, like, stuff that'll make you appear more masculine, uh, one thing, a, a big thing, actually, the way you walk. <laughs> like, um, if you, if you sort of, like, walk slower, you take longer strides, but you walk slower, and you you sort of keep your hips from going all over the place, but, like, you, you sort of, like, move your shoulders, like, back and forth. Like, don't do it on purpose, and you'll just look like a dumbass, you know. But, uh, well, I mean, actually, by all means, walk that way if you want. I, I'm in no liberty to judge, but, um, the way that I'm saying it's just, you just sort of like lean back into the walk, and if you sort of maybe slouch a little bit, and like, a big thing is keeping your head up and looking up ahead, like, you'll definitely appear more masculine. Uh, I don't know, here, well, let me, let me try and show you. If there's any space in my room, I don't know. Oh. Um, sure, there we go, that works. Um, like, <laughs> it's such a short hop. I guess if you, if you walk more like this, as opposed to, like, this, I, see, you can't even, you can't even see the difference. Never mind, never mind. Sometimes the way you, you, uh, you cut your hair, like, um, shorter hair tends to be more masculine. Oh, like, sometimes the way you interact with people too, like if you just, like if you go up to someone and you're like, hey, what's up? Like, what's going on? And you um, sort of project a little bit and you're more like frontal and forward. I think we're gonna like talk about clothes and binders and stuff, like 
later on, so I'm not really going to get into that. I'm just going to say how much hoodies have saved my life. <laughs> just like, I mean, I know I'm already like decently small chested. I mean, I'd like to have no chest, but you know, I think we all wish that. <laughs> anyway, but um, hoodies are very nice because they're baggy and they cover things up pretty nicely, I think. Uh, but really, and so, sometimes too, like, just, um, maybe the, the way you talk to, like, if you just sound more chill and you talk and you don't actually have as much to say, that'll be seen as more masculine because sometimes feminine, um, people or... I'm just gonna say a group of chicks, but like feminine people too. Like when you get a bunch of them together, they sit around. They're like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" And they <laughs> they flip each other out, and like there's so much high energy, and they're just talking really fast, and they got so much to say, and they won't shut the fuck up. But um, no, I mean it's okay. No offense. People that are feminine that talk a lot, that are easily excitable, like it's okay. I love you. But um, that's definitely seen as more feminine. Um, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I guess there's some stuff, though, that, like, you have about yourself that you really, you can't change at all. Like, some, some trans guys, like, just their, their face already just looks really feminine. Um, and, like, it's, I'm not gonna say it's unfortunate, because it's not really unfortunate that you were born with the face that you have because I mean like although I, that's like a part of you you know but like I guess it kind of sucks when you're trying to be more masculine and you end up looking more feminine and you can't really do anything about it you know you, even with all the the stuff like passing is usually a really big thing with trans guys you know oh the music stopped Whew. let me go turn it back on <laughs> Alright, cool. Hey, what's up? Okay, so... This is weird. Anyways, um... But yeah, like, even though passing is such a big thing, like, among trans dudes, it's kind of loud. Um... Like, there's still... Honestly, I don't think it's the end of the world. And I really, really don't think that any trans person should center their life around passing. You know, I mean, this is going to sound <laughs> probably really bad from coming from a trans person, but I try not to make being trans and passing, like, the first thing on my list ever, like, in my head, you know? Because th there's so many other, I don't want to say more important things, because, I mean, I guess being trans, or at least going through some kind of transition to become more happy can can be really important like there's some people that like find joy even in being trans um which is okay but uh i don't know like there there's so many other things to enjoy out there you know that like just when when you talk about passing it's usually a sad thing cuz like you're 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 like hanging on, on the person that you're hanging with, you're hanging on their every word, like, please, just, like, see, see me as masculine, like, don't call me she, please, 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 and that's running through your head the whole time, and it's like, am I passing, am I passing, like, when you're walking down the street, you know, and it's just like, no, be, be yourself, you are a person, and you are the only one of your kind in the whole world, so indulge in who you are and explore what's really interesting to you or like like enjoy your passions I guess you could say rather than dr dragging yourself down by worrying about passing so much you know so um not to say that passing is, well, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore <laughs> I don't know whatever have a nice night see you later